Hey guys, my name is Rejoice and welcome to Live Christians. Today I'm going to be telling you my story. Um, so let's get to the video. My name is Rejoice. I'm a freshman at the University of Cumberland. Um, I just want to tell you a little bit about my story. Um, I was born and raised in Nigeria and recently moved to the United States to continue our studies. Um, and it's really different back there. I am a pastor's kid and so um, back home we were always looked up to and we were supposed to represent this perfect kid. Um, but when I moved here, it was very different. I had a neighbor who invited me for a food around the nation kind of thing. Um, and I was like, yeah, sure, we're gonna go eat food, so why not? But whenever we're coming back, she's leading the gospel like I've never heard of it before. It sounded like a new story to me, like something I've never heard. And being a pastor's kid, I thought I, I had all the answers. How I mean, my dad's a pastor, I go to church. Basically, I lead all the church activities and um, pretty much everything in church is <laughs> what I do. And after hearing the gospel like I've never heard from my neighbor, I made a realization that I cannot do this without God. And starting out high school, um, it was very different. Like there were tons of people from different backgrounds and different perspectives. Um, during the car ride, I realized that I needed a savior. Um, this, my neighbor was a pastor's kid too. She's from Ukraine and we kind of have like similar experiences. And so that just made all sense in the world to me. Like when we got back to the apartment, she called her husband and they prayed for me. And they're so sweet family and I'm so grateful for them. Um, and then they called my parents and I told them and then I got baptized. Um, it was a special moment. After that, being baptized and all of that, I've tried to be a good Christian. I've like reading my Bible has given me a whole different perspective. Like that's the good way to live my life. But that doesn't mean I'm perfect. That doesn't mean I don't sin because trust me, I sin. I fall short of the glory of God every single day. But you know what's great is that whenever I sin and sometimes when I don't realize it, I know that God seizes me and instead of seeing my sins, it sees the blood of Christ that was shed for me. It seizes the grace that Christ did for me. And that is just awesome because like a father, he forgives our sins. And I can't explain it, but it's amazing. So, if you haven't had that personal relationship with God yet, if you haven't, um, if you don't know what you're doing with your life, basically, it's not too late to give your life to Christ. It's never too late. Just know that tomorrow is not a promise. We are not promised tomorrow. We're not guaranteed that we'll live our lives tomorrow. So why don't you just go on your knees now and pray and ask God for forgiveness and ask God to come into your life because honestly being in God's embrace is so much better than any other thing you can think of but it's just so good and it's so amazing so if you would like to have this relationship with God to have this personal relationship with God talk to your friend who is a Christian talk to your parents and if your parents can't give you the right answers you're looking for Talk to a youth group pastor or a pastor of a church and I'm pretty sure they'll turn you to the right direction. So um, that's all I have to say. Right now I am living life to the glory of God and I hope to do more in his kingdom. So um, that's all for my story. Um, if you like this video, actually don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and um, subscribe down below. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.